Another man in my house, he's so big and strong. He goes to work each day, he stays all day long. He comes home each night, looking tired and beat. He sits down at the dinner table and has a bite to eat. Hey, how you doing? Welcome to my home. My name, of course, is Louis Gossett, Jr. You might have seen some of the films, you know, Officer and Gentleman and Iron Eagle and, and all that, Digstown and, you know, all that kind of stuff, Roots. Anyway, behind me is all those awards. That was then. This is now. This is the sum total of almost 60 years of a professional application of my art. I'm very grateful to be alive and uh, be able to talk, tell those stories and give you some possible experience, strength, and hope about life in and out of show business. I seem to think that uh, this might be our job when we get this age, is to pass some stories on, be mentors to the young people, so that your experience is a whole lot better than ours, to pass it on. I think that's the natural progression of our generations. So I put together this kind of television show. Um, we're going to start at YouTube, and I'm going to ask you and your friends to, if you like it, to tell everybody to, to uh, maybe we can get this argument to put it on regular television with it's going to be Skyped. People can call in, they can Twitter. Um, I can send uh, the camera to people in, in concerts, some friends of mine who will be on this show to talk to you about the same thing. And it's a full thing. It's called For What It's Worth. Most of the shooting is going to be here in my home. It's as if you are visiting me in my home to find out the ambiance and the stories that maybe you young people need to hear. And I gather this, so I, I, I gather this from my experience in, in coming to your auditoriums and listening to you. You kind of uh, pay a great deal of attention. You ask some very relevant questions. And it touches me that you think that I might be able to tell you something to make your life better. So let's improve on that relationship. All you older people, you contemporaries, I encourage you. And you young people, you've excited me. It's your fault. I've gone across this country now to the high schools, so-called troublemaking high schools, you know, and some of the universities. And when I speak, you can hear a pin drop, which is a great tribute between our relationship. I need to do some more of that because it seems to be God's way of saying this is what I should be on the planet for. That's why he saved my life. If you think that your life is over, you're wrong. It's just beginning. The stages of life, you know, the stages of man, that poem, this is a stage of life where you're a mentor. It's very important that you are responsible for giving the information to the younger generation. They just got here. You ha might have something to tell them. I highly recommend that you, uh, for what it's worth, give them that information. Be responsible for children, even if they're not yours. I am devoted to getting rid of the magic word called racism. Uh, I don't think there's any villains in the story. That maybe was a practice for centuries ago hundreds of years ago. Today, uh, everybody lives everywhere. Our children, they enjoy each other, regardless of religion or race or color. You look at the schoolyard and they're having a good time, and then they learn to be different. So I, I'm devoting my life to getting rid of this, this, this disease. It's a disease like alcoholism or drug addiction, in a sense, that it comes from the monster. It comes from the negative separation of people who think that they might be superior to others. There's no such thing. We have one planet, one people. We need to preserve this planet. We need to have compassion for one another. We need to get back to that beautiful patriotic Americanism, which made us all number one. And racism might be a deterrent for that. Anyway, a lot of people agree with that. Some disagree. Um, but if you agree or disagree, give us a hit. You know, uh, I've got a, a photograph that I want to show you, and I'm going to put that on an insert with me and my grandson, the oldest gossip and the youngest gossip. The connection of the family is probably the best thing that's ever happened to me. I highly recommend you go back to your family and do the same. Look at my foundation, the erasingthefoundation.org, and uh, let's get together on the screen, on Skype, on Twitter, on YouTube, or whatever, to make this planet better and make this program. It'd be good to talk to you for what it's worth.
education is a thing if you want to complete. Because without a son, life ain't very sweet.